So here we're doing the shadows for the house portrait. As you can see, I'm, I mixed um, Payne's Gray, a uh, very diluted wash. Um, I'm going to the reference photo and finding where the shadows are and the soffits, under the soffits, um, between the windows. This house have a, a bit of um, hexagonal shapes for some of the windows. Um, and I'm trying to go with a very light wash initially and see how it works out. Uh, and then after that, we can go with more washes. Here I mixed purple, brown, and some paints gray for the uh, shingles of the house. Um, they appear a little bit on the sides there just because of the perspective of the painting itself or the picture. Um, so I'm just going with a very light wash uh, right now. Uh, just where the shingles are. This paper is Fabriano Artistical Big Sheets and it's been custom uh, cut to 11 by 17 as per the request of the um, uh, person who asked the um, condition of the art. Um, so again, just really not a lot of creativity here, just um, lightly using the tip of the um, silver velvet um, brush to do the painting. What I've done uh, earlier with the rolling, that was the um, uh, the erasers, and I just erased some of the pencil markings, and here is just cerulean blue and some cobalt blue mixed with a mop brush um, to give the, the sky colors, um, and I'm just doing it at the edges because it's a sunny day. I'm going to add some yellow uh, to the uh, process. Um, not a particular uh, brush movements here, just sweeping the brush to the sides and let it uh, pull all that paint. It is a wet brush, uh, but it's not dripping water, so not a lot of um, instructions about the water control here. You can see there's a lot of water drops and petals that I thought it was too excessive, so I just came with a dry brush and absorbed all that out. Um, mixing the two colors together gave us a green, and that was not a bad idea, just above where the bushes are, um, just to give an illusion of bushes that are a little bit further away, uh, and just dapping. Um, using this dapping brushing technique, this is a mixture of uh, sap green with Payne's gray, as well as um, indigo blue. And I'm, I'm using a wet brush on a dry paper just to create uh, this very deep uh, green colors uh, where the bushes are going to have its deepest uh, values, uh, which is darker colors. Um, and I'm just going through this motion. So there is no shape creation. It's just the, having the brush go in different direction. I thought because the Fabriano artistical papers are very absorbent and thirsty papers, so I came back with my mop brush and mixed some more paint gray, less paint gray, more green, less green, drop some yellow, whatever comes to your mind. But one of the things, if you want to create a darker values or areas of shadows, you have to bring a concentrated paint. Uh, so not um, uh, a lot of water and more paint and less water. Uh, and you want to rub your brush uh, consistently and make sure that the petal or your, your mixture is going to be a little bit of um, darker value. If you want to create some far away bushes, then mix them with cooler colors, like with some blue, and that will give the impression that they're far away. And now I'm trying to create more sharp edges. When the, when the paper dries out, then those sharp edges will um, be easily created uh, when you add wet paint to the dried uh, layer of paint. Here you can see the water, the paper is still wet, so it kind of just um, uh, blended, bleed uh, the color bleed everywhere, as opposed to the area at the corner right here. The paper is dry, so it can give you more crisp colors. So if you want to create more crisp uh, um, leaf color and leaf uh, shapes, then wait for the paper to dry and that's what I did here. I thought I'll just leave it a little bit to dry and fiddle with the, with the other side. So here's there is some uh, hydrangea, maybe uh, flowers. Uh, so I'm just dropping and just with the tip of the brush uh, here. 
For some reason in this painting, I gravitated more to the uh, Princeton Neptune uh, brushes, size 4 and 6, and also the Princeton Heritage Run brush and the Princeton Neptune mop brush. And I think it's because uh, I wanted to create more bushes and also want to create those nice dark values. Uh, and those dark values can be created by um, picking up a lot of paints uh, by the Princeton uh, brushes. Um, so here the colors are bleeding. If you have a puddle of concentrated paint, the color will bleed underneath it. Um, I think the sun was coming from that end, the left side of the painting. So I decided to have a little bit of mixture of yellow and uh, green over there. Um, I'm dropping some red for uh, another plant that was around. Uh, again, when you're just having those dapping movement around the brushes, uh, around the uh, bushes, uh, if the uh, paper was wet, it will bleed. If the paper was dry, it will give you a nice um, leaf color. What I'm doing here is a dry brush um, sweep under the bushes, and that will give that rough in appearance. Um, again, I'm fiddling here uh, with this um, humongous uh, bush beside the house and I'm having a more like a dry brush. So pick up some paint and then dab your brush on the on the um, paper, uh, you know, the, the papers. And then it will give you uh, and then just sweep it on the um, paper itself uh, and it will give you this dry brush. Mop brush is almost really hard to make it dry. So I'm just creating an illusion of having uh, far away bushes. Uh, here with the same colors of the shingles and then paints gray on top of it, I'm creating the stairs. Again, just dry brush sweep on the uh, painting paper uh, with some wet area to create the illusion of and texture of the driveway. And um, and you just kind of fiddle with it, fiddle with it and until you create the shape you want. I'm creating a little bit of um, you know, um, uh, deep, like a more deeper values. It gives your uh, painting more depth if you create more uh, values uh, within the uh, structures that you're uh, painting. Um, I decided then to move to the windows. It has some, um, uh, it has a um, blue color to, to them. Um, in the reference photo, they were more green niche color because all the reflection from the uh, trees around the house was there, uh, but I just decided to go with blue. Uh, this is the area under the entrance of the house, so I decided to just to go with sepia and uh, paints gray, very light wash, just to give that shadow appearance there. Uh, and I had a bit of an imposter syndrome moment here. I thought I'll go with the pencil first to create that um, shadow uh, where the beams are, um, and I don't think I'd you know, capture it well when I when I um, sketch the house. So I thought this was okay. So now I have to create the shadow and give that opt optical illusion of the separation between the two structure, the beam, as well as the um, roof on top of it. Uh, so again, I'm just adding more shadows. So whatever there's the casting shadows, just go with a small line and just go deeper and deeper as you go and you can see here I've, I've gone more deeper in some areas of the house than others here dry brush a wet brush um like it's it's picked i picked up some paint but more paint less water on the dry paper and it give you that textury appearance of the leaves and then whenever i want them to be a little bit loose i add water and see what happened i really love this effect when i get a concentrated paint on a wet paper and the paint will do the, the work and it's just going to create, um, you know, a little bit of um, uh, perspective, depth. And you can see here, just play around with your brush and see what kind of shapes your brush create when it's wet uh, to a variety of degree. Um, and you get to this degree of confidence of playing around with the, uh, with the paint this way by practicing, practicing. Um, and, and, and then you'll get an eye assessment, an idea on how um, things are gonna look like. As you can see here, I'm not having any particular agenda or shape here. I just want to create some leaf shapes. and But in the same time, I don't want them to be very symmetrical. So you can see that some of the leaf, some of, um, you know, it starts a little bit uh, narrow in, uh, or a little bit shorter branches in one area and longer in others. 
And now here I'm just adding those deep, deep colors to give, you know, the illusion that there's areas where there's shadows and there's areas where there are no shadows. The regular brush will allow us to um, have um, like the branch shapes. So these regular brush um, allow you to do the shape without a lot of um, thinking because it's the way it is. Um, the stroke naturally will create those uh, shapes that you want. Um, and um, I'm just going to create the really non, um, non um, discrete shapes of how they look like. Um, just keep doing the um, brush strokes like that, and that will give you the appearance of the branches. And because I like how they're structured, I went ahead and created a little bit uh, um, more textures in the background. And again, just going through a dry brush on a um, dry paper and that create the textures. Here more details where, where I need more shadows. I went ahead and created more shadows all around. Um, and uh, just step back on the painting and I thought, you know, instead of going and ruining the painting at this stage, I think I just added some splatter uh, of uh, green, red, brown at the bottom of the, pa of the painting just to create, um, uh, you know, some textures and uh, there you go. The best part of the painting is just to rip that um, tape. And uh, this painting took about an hour uh, and 20 minutes to make, but uh, uh, including the sketching. The sketching was done by the HR mirror, and I can create uh, uh, a video on how to do it on the HR mirror. So if you like this uh, video, please, um, 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 you know, uh, hit like, subscribe to the channel as well as write your uh, comments below. If you have any questions, happy to answer them. Uh, and if you like me to put any more videos uh, in the future, let me know what you would I'd like. So there you have it, that's the house portrait.